Good morning, everybody. I am my sister's Chris. I want to appreciate all the comments we got yesterday. I'm just, you know, got them from Keith. We got them from uh, Shane. We got them from a lot of people on our little rant yesterday. So appreciate all that, man. Makes it does does make a difference. Yeah, but you know what? A, a million people can tell you how great you are, and that one person walks by and go, "You suck." You get fixated on you suck. Well, you why? To, why? Why? Well, it's because you forget about all the praise. Yeah, it's it's the deal is you want to make all those million people still happy. You don't care about this guy, but his words are, well, if he's if he thinks it sucks, I wonder what my buddy thinks. Do I have a fix? You know, hurtful words mean more. Oh, I totally agree. Hurtful words mean more. You you think uh, words aren't abusive? You're wrong. I totally agree with that. Tell you what I did learn at Hope, even comment, uh, congratulated on me on this, was when we did Live or Die. And somebody went, hey, man, the movie was good. I liked it. I said, okay, I appreciate it. Man, I really didn't like it. It was all right. I said, okay, I appreciate it. But it was me. It was coming to me. I could handle that. Right. But when it comes from the backyard, there's four of us. I know how much work everybody kind of goes in the pride they take it doesn't affect hurt my feelings or my one feeling it makes me like man i know you were down there saturday sweeping i know you were down there cleaning up for our friday and saturday for those shows you were out there doing labor work and to hear and i know barry's in that kitchen trying to figure that that's the things that frustrate the me. only boulder we're behind is our kitchen isn't big enough to service a thousand people no our occupancy and we try yeah and we try so that's the deal and we'll keep trying so anyway screw all that. right forget all that big news first off congratulations north carolina men's basketball team for winning the national championship i sent chris a text message and i said how bad would it suck when it was 62 to 62 or something or in the 40s that it came down to the last second shot and they got beat again on a buzzer beater i, I had i had them winning my bracket you did good i got second though because the guy in front of me, Andy Kurtner, yeah, he uh, had North Carolina winning, but he had taken some more underdogs, and get... we did the one who had bonus points. Right. So I end up losing. Uh, Second place. Shout out to Colin. Defense wins championships. Offense don't. That's why the offense <laughs> name's down here, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Brooks had them in her. Bracket two, North Carolina. I told her to. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if she won or not. Okay, but congratulations to them. Big news that just broke ESPN is Tony Romo is being released by the Dallas Cowboys and he's going straight into broadcasting. Don't believe the hype. Here's my opinion. Okay, I'm going to move up there with Babe Laufenberg or somebody in the Cowboy. I'm going to, I'm going to be the broadcaster for them. Where he goes. And I'm just on that phone call to Jerry Jones that if something happens, I'm coming back in there for Dak. I think it would be embarrassing for the Cowboys to release him. So they come up with this way to go, you know what, I'm just not going to play anymore. Good Which thing. means the Cowboys aren't trading me. Right. So you can't get any picks for me. Right. Oh, hell, I'm better than 20 quarterbacks, so maybe some teams will come after him. And if they don't, I think he just he just so retired. Brett rides on in. Got plenty of money. More yards, more touchdowns than Staubach, than Aikman. Less wins. Yeah. 14 years. I didn't know he played that long. The first three, he didn't even throw a pass. Yeah. But. Those were his best years. Uh, he didn't have the supporting cast no. that one of those had. And if he would have, he'd, probably, he'd have been the greatest of all time in Cowboy history. And I'm a Cowboy fan. I'm an Aikman fan. I damn sure is a Stallback yeah, fan. Yeah, I agree. But you're not a Danny White I, fan? Oh, and of course. Yeah, yeah. Babe Lothenberg? He probably watches yeah. the show. Babe watches the show, I think. I'm a Golden Richards fan. Oh! Favorite of all time. I love that hair coming out of that helmet, <laughs> boy. I was also a Preston Pearson fan. Oh, wait, here yeah. we go. We're going to be okay, here all day. Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. <sighs> Can I just say this? Nope. Congratulations. Oh, you're going to say it anyway. Congratulations to all my friends that watch WrestleMania. I know Shane's one of them, and the outcome it had. Now, it was awesome. I didn't watch it, but I stayed in the news feed update. But here's where I'm going. It is an entertaining show, right? We already know that. It's all this. 
Tracy. I didn't even know race <laughs> WrestleMania was on. But go ahead. In Orlando, it is, and I did not even know this till last night watching Raw, it is the number three watched program. It goes World Cup and Olympics. They kind of go hand in hand when they're there. Super Bowl, WrestleMania. Looks like it's number four. Well, these are these were they were saying they said the Olympics only come around once every every oh, okay. four years, but like the World Cup. But I was just thinking, like most people who watch wrestling, that you can't count. <sighs> Shane, don't <laughs> today. Shane is the day you start throwing darts at Chris because he don't understand nothing about that. <clears throat> but I used to watch it back when Big Papa Pump was on there. And some of the other ones, when we uh, uh, hung out a lot more, well, yeah. I was forced to watch it yeah, there you because go. he would hold me down yeah. and watch it. But uh, that is a man soap opera. That's there's no doubt. Talk. There's no doubt. And I, I mean, want to hear when women talk crap about it. It's just a, a dry, so a over the top. It, that's what bothers me. You know, it is way over the top. Uh, soap operas have nothing on rest, wrestling. Oh, come on. Days of our nothing. lives. She gets abducted by an alien and comes back down and gets killed, Marlena, and comes I don't back. Even, I come quit on. watching those come when on. it got that stupid, come too. On. Back in the day. Shane, you're getting your argument now. Back in the so day. Oh, they were all Back stupid. in the day, soap operas. Stupid. A little more. And now they went that way out there. They're all way but, out there. They're all way out there. <laughs> you know who else went way out there? Who? Let me show you. Show me. Let me show you who went way out there today. Uh, Shane, you, you got Steak me, Steak tips Uh-oh. and mushroom gravy what? over egg noodles, $8. Barry has done went crazy down there. I'm going to have to go back. I like the steak tips. There ain't no doubt. Steak tip bites they ain't no and doubt. mushroom gravy over egg noodles. That would be really good. It's kind of like a, a beef stroganoff with steak tip. Hey, that's exactly what it is. What? Do people this generation, your younger generation, 30 and down, understand or appreciate working? No. <clears throat> we went to, it, not a competitor, but somebody else who's in the same business as us around the corner, Fuzzy Taco, yesterday for lunch. Yep. And he went, man, can y'all find any good help? And we went, well, we got, we probably got more employees than you and... And uh, it's pretty tough sometimes. No, we can't. We we have good employees. We have not so good employees. And we have some that, man, we just need to fill that spot. Lazy. And I, if they're watching, they're going to know who we're talking about. Yeah, lazy. Just work two days, call in a day. Need a day. I, I'm talking lazy. And the funny thing is we hear it from other places to where we think we're struggling and they're struggling with the same issues. But the, th- the, and I'm going to go to 30, I'm going to say 30, it could be 35. This, that generation is so into instant gratification that I want to show up on Monday and work, and if my day goes bad on Monday, I might not be there Tuesday, because I don't, I need to, I just need to have a good week, and I just want to get paid for doing absolutely nothing, even though I'm supposed to be working with Chris, he did the project, shouldn't we get paid? I'm tired of you. Yeah. Lack of a better word, punks. Lazy punks. I feel like I feel like, and I it's could, not, and you feel like uh, our parents when, yes. when we were that age. Yes. Uh, now, and we're not stereotyping the whole group because no. there are a lot that we we do have some good employees. Yes, we do. Uh, we wish we could clone them. God, yes. If, if we had a couple of these two guys and these two girls, I don't even. Th- I, we might not have a bad review. No. It's frustrating, and and it was frustrating to hear it come from other people about, man, from the outside looking in, y'all are doing great. Can, uh, can y'all help me find some? And we want to go, dude, we don't have any. We reached out to places that we like to eat. And, yeah, and asked And help. went, hey, do, if people come in looking for a job that you would give them a job. Send them to us. But don't have the place for them, send them to us. Hey, we ain't found one. No. Why is this generation so goddamn <clears throat> lazy and, and want? They want. They don't want to work for it. They want it. Alan Samuels Fiat probably's got some so so employees, but probably. I know one that's one. pretty decent. Nathan Stanley. Nathan Stanley. 
And it and when when they sponsor, it's not just Nathan. It's no. the whole group. So we're just making fun. But he sent me a deal about a lease program the other day. Yeah. And if I didn't already own my car, I'd have thought about it. I would see you driving around the Fiat. Like, no, so this was a Alfa oh, Romero, right. the brand new Alfa Romero. And it wasn't that expensive. It really wasn't. Pretty good little down payment. Well. Reasonable payments. So if in your in the market for that, maybe call, maybe visit those guys. Call and and talk to Nathan. Two six five six eight six eight. Call and talk to Nathan. He also does our draft NFL uh, <clears throat> fantasy football. He's deal. better at selling cars. He is better at selling cars. He's better at selling cars. But you want to get in that draft to beat him and make some money. Right. So that's what right. you want to do. We're gonna get out of here. We got a busy, super busy week. We got a super super busy week. Wednesday. We got a meeting at 9.30. Like That's what I'm talking about. That's what Great. I'm talking about. Hush. We got a meeting at 9.30. Then we got a meeting with the city at 12. So we have a very busy Wednesday. We might be shooting it on the road Wednesday. Might be shooting Which is no, tomorrow. Wednesday. Might be shooting hey, Gracie. another thing. Crackers and Cucumbers, Mr. Tim Murphy, comes out and shoots all our concerts. He shoots them all over Central Texas. Shot a couple videos. Of did the crowd. Good. Did good. He, he don't shoot video. Right. But he did it just this week, and it turned out he picked the perfect songs. He took the top songs of that artist and did it, and the crowd singing along. And if you go to our, our Backyard Waco Facebook page, or either either one of ours, we both shared it. Yep. Go check it out, and I think it'll make you go, Shh, crap, why didn't I go? That's what it'll, I tell that, that you're right, that is the deal. It, it makes you go, I want to be down there in that atmosphere. Right. But And there's some big stuff going on in town this weekend. There is. Uh, across town. Some guy we wish we could get. He's a little too big for us. But we have Eric Willis, who's probably one of the best up-and-coming Texas artists. And then we got the fun Roxy Roca, which is just a cool-ass band out of Austin on Saturday. Cover for those are only like five bucks. Can't beat that. With a stick. With a stick. We're going to get out of here, man. We don't know where the show's going to be tomorrow, so just bear with us. Might be in the car. Until tomorrow, though, I am Russ. This is Chris.